What's going on everybody? Dar Sizzle Pudding coming at you from our last boat right here in Stewart, Florida. If you're new, we're a Florida fishing couple. Today we're doing something a little different that we haven't done in a couple years and in general we never do enough of, which is beach fishing from the boat. Yeah, it's a, it's a January, a little cold for us here in January, but we have yeah. great weather offshore. So we thought we'd take advantage and run the beach. We're looking for Spanish Max and Pompano and maybe Bluefish. So uh, pretty exciting for us because a little bit of a change of pace. And uh, of course we're gonna take you along with us and show you exactly how we catch any fish we are so lucky to catch. Yes. All right guys, we've come down to the infamous Pex Lake. What? Which is Talking to the folks here. I'm sorry, I had my head turned back. I know, I and uh, Mercury two stroke so loud. But we're, we're in front of Pex Lake, which is like a landmark uh, on, on shore. I've got a picture, I got a picture on the low ranch here so you can see. And uh, there's a famous Spanish Mac spot. I'm not sure how thick they are today, but when they're thick, they're thick here, and a lot of the commercial guys come down. So right now I'm kind of trolling around to see where the fish are. I don't really see anybody uh, reeling them in quite yet. As soon as one person catches one, it's gonna be on. And when you hit it, it's one of the greatest things you can do with your family. You just got to fish every five seconds. Fish hey. on! Ooh! Keep it tight, keep it tight. We got a fish, we got a fish. Brian's doing a good job covering that water, trying to find these fish, and that's what kind of what everyone's doing here. We have about 10 boats the fishing. Ooh, that was a nice hit, looking for mackerel. Is it what we're looking for? Am I gonna flip? Yeah, you're gonna flip. He's got oh. trebles all over him. Oh yeah, that, that feels like him. All right, but forward, 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 <laughs> forward. Head of the boat. Head of the boat. Woo! Oh, he's smoking me right now. That must be a nice one. You gotta get these fish Please up faster hooked, in the man. future. Please stay hooked. Straight down. It's like a jack would do that. I, yeah, it's not right. The longer this fish is out, and we're stalemate like this. We're attracting things. Oh no. Oh my God. Under the boat. I see Did you that. see it? No. What the heck is this? Absolutely smoking me. I, got, I think it got eight. There's, the porpoise got it. Mother. I saw a big flash under the boat. All right, so we got porpoise. Unfortunately, I think I've got a porpoise. I don't think the porpoise is hooked, but it doesn't feel right. Coming right at the boat now. He might have dropped it. I don't know what's going on. Porpoise, that's the porpoise we're hooked. Here he is, you see him? I'm hooked to that fish, unfortunately. He's right here at the boat. Oh my God, it's a kingfish. He got ate by the porpoise. Oh my God, gaff, gaff, gaff. I wasn't ready for that, where's the damn gaff? He took it off the boat. Grab his tail. There's a porpoise, he's trying to eat it. He's under the boat. You need to grab his tail, go. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> What the freak? He dropped it. He grabbed my kingfish. Look at the dolphin bites. King is dead. That's the most incredible thing. I thought it was a wahoo for a second because he's yeah, got yeah, stripes now. Yeah, yeah, stripes now. now. Look at that crap. Look, he bit all over him. Uh, it's pretty wild, man. That's a solid high, 20, high teens. That's right. pretty crazy, man. And now I don't know if that's bad luck or good luck that we just caught like the first fish and somehow managed to get it away from porpoises. <laughs> These jerks. I just literally think they wanted to play with him. And he was right under the boat there as we were trying to get him in too. Yeah. He was hanging out, turning sideways, like watching us with the fish. But that porpoise had no business trying to play with that thing. I mean, he was just oh, playing that, around. That's yeah, funny. crazy. All right. You got a problem. Big problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, you're not... You're supposed to leave your fish intact when you catch them. But I, I am going to leave them intact, but I'm going to do a little cut right here so I can bend them a little bit and get that cooler closed. He fits. Eh, not really. <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. I made it work. Close it, close it, close it. All right, so I basically spotted the big pile of commercial boats and just kind of ran over here. They know where the fish are, and this is right in front of Hex Lake. Yeah, birds vibing. I see porpoises, lots going on. Yeah. All right, guys, so the gist of this is you're gonna get some of these glass minnows, put them in a bucket with some water. You're gonna take some glass minnows, throw them out in the water, and you're gonna catch Spanish Max. Big fish. There we go. There you go. 
Urgh, they fight hard. Nice. Doubled up, doubled up, baby. All right, we doubled up. That's how you do it. Woo! Mine is bigger. <laughs> Wee! Sweet man. Will they have to be 15? Will they have to be 12? They have to be 12 to the fork. Oh, you're way over. They're all way over. 12 to the fork, 15 each. Look at that, guys. Pretty, pretty mackerel. Look, I love their dorsal fin. They have the coolest dorsal fin. Nice. Don't even need the minnows. No. Oh, that's a nice one. Whoa, that's a monster. That's a nice one. Whew, nice job, Sizzle. It's a big boy, big boy. Can I switch? Switching. What I'm doing is I'm bleeding them out in the well. Oh, good idea. I don't think I even cast them. I think it's probably fine. Huh? Nothing. All right, so I'm keeping these fish in the well, and these are excellent eating mackerel. These fish are really a delicacy to eat. Whoa. Um, where are those? So what I'm gonna do is, because these mackerel are so prized and like their meat is absolutely delicious, oops, I just threw them right off, is I'm putting them in our live well on our flats boat. And I'm just gonna bleed them out in there. I think that's like probably the best way to do it. And then we'll stick them all in the cooler, hair club cooler. I'm just using these scissors. And you cut right there, cut their gills, and he'll bleed out pretty quickly and die quickly too. And then I'll pop this out. And then we're all set, ready to fish again. But I think we're gonna have to change our lure every couple fish because look how destroyed yeah. this is already. Yep. And I got myself pretty good with the wire. So, <laughs> woo. Come on, bird. Thank you. He almost got wrapped up in my... Urgh. Epic. These fish are so powerful for their size. So much fun to catch. And this is awesome family activity. Oh, and you just, you can catch so many. I mean, 15 is a lot of fish. Ooh. And this is the time of year for them. Oh, it's another nice one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice one, that's a stud. Whoa. Yeah, buddy, that's epic. All right, there. I think we almost got a one-man limit. That's a solid fish all day. Perfect. All right, so real quick for the gear, I don't want to go over 10 times, but you can just use light tackle. It's so much fun. Uh, we, we put 40-pound leaders on at first. These commercial guys are like 100, okay? We put 40 on. They get, we got our first lures got bit off in two seconds. So then we put number four wire trace, okay? Like the haywire twist to an Elbright uh, to a 40-pound leader. And then uh, there are fish all over the place here, so we haven't been throwing out that, needed the minnows yet. But basically, you throw minnows out, the fish go crazy, and then you throw your lures in there, okay? Yeah. Lure, you want the lure to hit the bottom for the bigger fish? Exactly. Jerk, jerk, pause. Yep. And you just play around with it until you get the bites. Yep. Right? That's how you do it. All right. All right, let's see how many we can get right now while they're chewing. Yeah. All right, first cast, I got some line, I got some bait out. Now I'm gonna cast, let it sink. And I'm gonna do one more scoop of minnows. And this is how you catch the bigger fish, by letting that lure sink to the bottom. And let's see if we can get an instant hook up. Oh, there we go. You see how quick that was? <laughs> Epic. Smoking it. So the mono is definitely working, getting the bites from all the fish now, now that the sun's up. Another really nice one. There's a little cobia sitting right here too, like a 12 incher. he's so cute. Another solid fish. Not too shabby. Oh, I didn't open the well. All of our friends and neighbors are gonna be so happy. Everybody loves Spanish mackerel. Woo, two fish back to back. Here, one's, here comes another sizzle. What, baby? Here comes another. Yeah. Ooh, nice job, right in the well. <laughs> right, right in the well. in the well. All right, I throw out some things. Mm-hmm, do it. You got so lucky on that fish. You can be quiet. It's not luck, it's skill. Well, compared to the first two times you got cut off. <laughs> skill. Maybe. Like I'm getting the bites and it goes to the mic. I can feel it when it goes down. Yeah. Like it doesn't nibble them. Yeah, you're getting tons of bites. All right. Nice job. Let me look at the well. 
All right, all right, all right. Nice job. You're doing it on the mono. Woohoo! Nice work. Jeez, jeez. I'm from the camera. All right. The yellow open, Guggen. Oh. Show Dark Sizzle how we do it. <laughs> See, Puddin's doing it. Puddin's doing it, guys. I always tell you, you got, you got to work smarter. You got to change things. If it's not working, you got to change. Eight. Let's keep it right. Yeah, I'm only going to be 12. Yeah, right? they're very, yeah. yeah. All right, we got to get these guys on ice. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Try to put them tails down in the hair club cooler. I mean, belly down, so we keep their guts down but we got a lot of nice fish. We should have brought the bigger cooler. I told you to. No, you didn't. I did, I said bring a big white one. How many we got right, so far? so that was six, seven, seven eight, nine, ten, 10 11. 11. Nice. No limit yet. All We're right. doing good, we're doing good. All right, 11, I mean, a 15 is a one person limit. I literally don't need more fish. So we'll see, we'll, maybe we'll cover more and see what happens. We're done fishing. We don't want a limit, but we have a box of minnows. Do you want them? All right, all right, awesome. What were you guys' names? Steve and Dennis, nice to meet you. Just yeah, we got an sit. extra, we don't need that many fish. Oh, thank you so much for watching, that's awesome. Yeah, there it is. We're out, of, we fish here probably like two, three times a week. Um, we do, we like, two days ago we were in Boynton fishing for Wahoo, but we come up here quite a bit. Oh, we, really appreciate we like Stuart a lot more, you're welcome. I would just soak them in a bucket, yeah, like, and get them yeah, de-thawed, but oh, you're very welcome. Catch right, them up. Yeah. Did you guys get any yet? Uh, no. Not yet? No. You'll catch them. You'll, You'll catch them. Just twitch, twitch, pause, and on the pause, you'll, they'll hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Want to pick up that uh, thing for me? Yes, I'll pick up the trolling motor. We're back at the house, guys, and I just want to show you my hair club cooler really quick loaded it with fish. We've got all kinds of delicious fish in there. There's our big king mackerel. And uh, we did a great, we left, we caught 20 fish, 20 Spanish max, and we left them chewing. I mean, we really didn't need any more. And Brian was like, well, let's leave, I'm done. We don't need any more Spanish max. So we're gonna be feeding our friends and our neighbors down the street here. And right behind me, there's an approaching cold front, literally like on our doorstep. So I'm gonna try to whack these fish out real quick for you guys. Let's dive right into this. And I've got a few of them out here already because I had them pretty iced down. Like, I really like to ice my fish down and I want to get some of this fresh water off here. But a lot of the fish are nice size. I would say our biggest is probably four pounds and a five pound Spanish mac would be considered a trophy fish. Uh, that's a really big Spanish mac. But these are nice ones. I mean, you can't complain about that. So tasty, so much fun to catch with the fam. You just got to be extra careful of those teeth. So let's dive right into this. We're gonna be using my six and my eight inch curve dar sizzle filet knives today. I'll be linking this information down below for you guys. So many of you guys have already supported me and bought the knives and I really appreciate it. But let me show you them in action if you haven't. And then if you're still considering it, I'll link it down below, dar sizzle 15, 15% off plus free shipping, smithproducts.com. Let's just do this. We're gonna use a small six inch, go right behind the pec fin, cut down. Then we're gonna cut right up into the head because of course all fish have head meat. Then turn that knife right around and we're just gonna go all the way down his back pretty simple and then when I get to the tail with all fish I just like to pop right through that gets it done and then this is where the curve of the blade comes in because I really like a flex in my knife so I can just basically let the knife do the work for me and let it glide right over those bones and every single one of these fish I bled them inside our live well and I believe that makes them taste better especially when it comes to a Spanish Mac but we're about to have this guy sashimi style and then cooking with pudding is gonna do something special by cooking them in the house. And there we go, just like that. A couple quick slices and we got that whole loin right off. It looks gorgeous. I mean, looks, looks nothing like a kingfish. Kingfish is all gray and icky looking. That looks delicious. I would eat it right now, as is. I will. <laughs> Let me get some of this fresh water off right here. Now, I'm just gonna switch to my inch blade because I wanna make sure that I fully get across this whole entire loin. Now you would leave the skin on if you're going to go ahead and smoke it, which we've done before, and you guys can check out those videos on my YouTube channel. 
But in this method, we're gonna take all the skin off. So either way works with like kingfish, for instance, you can't take their skin off because the meat just falls apart. But with this guy, that's not gonna happen. So right on the edge of the table, get right under the skin there. And then we're just gonna take our time and go all the way down. Also wanted to quickly mention, I have a Spanish Mac pendant, you can see right here, available on my website. I basically have every species available on my website, pendant style, they're all solid 925 sterling silver. So check that out if you're a Spanish Mac fan or Smack fan, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's a great gift for sportsmen, men and women in your life, whoever wants to wear a necklace, even kids. All right, and I'm gonna link that down below. Everything we're talking about will be down below. All the way, flip it over, and we have a little bit of a bloodline left there. Even though we did bleed them, it would probably be of a larger bloodline, but we still gotta get that out, so we'll have two beautiful loins of Spanish mackerel. And I'm just using that same knife. Either knife will work, of course. And just like that, it is out. And we've got our two delicious loins of Spanish mac. So that's basically how you do it, guys. Look at that, it looks amazing. So oily, it's gonna be delicious. But let's head right into the house. We're cooking with pudding portion of this video. We don't wanna keep you guys out here anymore because it's getting dark and icky and windy and gross. Thanks so much, Dust Sizzle, for cleaning up those Atlantic Spanish mackerel. Those are some good size ones. The IGFA record is like 13 pounds. So those, those, we got some good ones, I think, in the five or six pound range. But well, welcome, guys, to another edition of your favorite part of the show, cooking with pudding. Obviously, it's the Spanish mackerel edition. Now, let me tell you about this fish, guys, because down here it's kind of a delicacy. Other parts of the country, I'm not so sure, but this fish is delicious. It's, uh, I have all the B-roll, of course. It's a softer, white meat, okay? It's not king mackerel. King mackerel is gonna be kind of gray and a little bit icky, frankly, when you look at it the first time. But it's also soft, so you wanna eat it quickly. You don't wanna freeze it, okay? You can cook it a variety of ways. I even had sushi with it. And today we're gonna to broil it. It was just super, super simple. I, we've never broiled the fish in here before, so I wanted to try something different. Uh, another favorite way to do it is to smoke it and make a dip, but you know pudding's on a diet, so I don't wanna mix up a lot of mayonnaise and then start dipping crackers into my face, okay? So we didn't do that. So. You can keep the skin on, you can put it on the grill, uh, you can put it in the pan with some butter, you can broil it like we're doing today, you can make some dip, you can eat it as sushi, you can do a whole, whole lot of different things. Let's get right to what I did today. Very simple, we like to keep it simple, you know, after that big, beautiful pompano recipe we did last week. So basically, I just took the, the fish, I got, I got all laid out here, put some olive oil on it, swashed it all around, put it into my broiling pan or my baking pan, my, more of a cookie sheet, I guess. Uh, just paprika, salt and pepper, wa swashed it all around again, got covered both sides. And then uh, I was gonna use lemons on top, but I like to use tomatoes on top for the acid. That way I can actually eat the tomatoes and they're quite delicious. Threw it in the oven uh, and broil again, uh, just for six or seven minutes and uh, it's gonna be done right away. All right, look at that, it's done already. That's some YouTube movie magic. Ooh, it looks super good. It looks super good. Didn't stick to the pan. I got a fork. I'm gonna have to wait for it to cool down a little bit, but it looks super good. Let's get Darcy over here for the taste test. All right, we got the fishing phenom. Darcy Sizzle here. What? You're the you fishing the, phenom. He was. He was the one catching all the fish on the mono. I was he doing was, good today. He's trying to be all fancy. fancy. And fish better than me. So he, I did. I, I think I did that fish you today. You did. Mainly She's a phenom, not me. No, mainly because she does like a little work on the boat, like the cleaning I and do. the bleeding of the fish, putting them in the coolers. And so while she's doing all that crap, I was just laying those fish out. So what do you awesome. think, Darcizzle? It's actually really tasty. And super, yeah. super firm fish, shockingly enough. I don't yeah. know why, but. Well, it's firm before you cook it. And I think I might have overcooked it a minute or two. So you guys, so like five or six minutes in that broiler. Mm -hmm. Okay, so really fast. Uh, let me get into the taste. Really good. No, it's good. Yeah. I mean, why do you say it like that? No, it's good. I don't know, because I think the paprika, we don't really use a lot of, a lot of paprika, so it kind of no. threw me off a little bit. I just use that on jalapeno poppers. Yeah, and you can put, <laughs> you guys can make any, you know, salt, pepper, put some butter on there, whatever you want to do. It's delicious. Yeah. Yep, amazing. Yeah. This is well worth it, especially after being outside all day in the dark flaying fish. <laughs> but I hooked up everybody in the neighborhood, so everybody's fat and happy now. Yeah, even Frank. Even Frank. <laughs> Silent Frank. He's doing good, by the way. Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> Anywho. I hope you guys really enjoyed this content. We had a blast out there. It was a long time since we've done that before. 
and I'm just thrilled to get back out there. It's a time of the year where there's all kinds of amazing fishing happening right now. So y'all stay tuned until the next adventure. Follow, Follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. Oh, I'm going to eat instead. <laughs> you need to eat more than me. That was a, mm. <laughs>